we have 60 minus 40. So we start with 60, so let's find 60 on our 100 square, and we're subtracting 40, so we need to take away 4 tens. We'll take away 10, and we have 50. Take away a second 10 from 60, and we have 40. Take away three tens, and we have 30. And take away four tens, and that leaves us with 20. So 60 subtract 40 is 20. And if we know that 6 minus 4 is 2, we don't really have to use 100 square, because we know that 60 minus 40 is 6 tens minus 4 tens, and that leaves us with 2 tens, or 20. But on 100 square, we know that subtracting 40 means subtracting 4 tens, so we go up 4 places on our 100 square. Now 50 take away 30, so we have 5 tens, so let's find 50 on our 100 square, and we're subtracting 30, so we need to take away 3 tens. So take away 10, and we have 40, take away 2 tens now, and we have 30, and take away 3 tens, and we have 20. So 50 subtract 30 is 20. And if we know that 5 take away 3 is 2, we know that 5 tens take away 3 tens leaves us with 2 tens, or 20. Now 80 subtract 60 on 100 square. So we find 80, and we're subtracting 60, or 6 tens, so we need to go up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 places, and we get to 20. So 80 minus 60 is 20, but we don't really need 100 square for this. How could you subtract 60 from 80 mentally? Well, if you know that 8 minus 6 is 2, then you know that 8 tens minus 6 tens is 2 tens, or 20. Now 90 take away 50, so we find 90, and we're taking away 50, or 5 tens. So we go up 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 places, and we get to 40. So 90 minus 50 is 40. And how could we work this out mentally without a 100 square? Well, if we know that 9 minus 5 is 4, then we can be sure that 9 tens minus 5 tens is 4 tens.